Hey guys, Kitty here, and welcome back to Who's Next. This week's theme on Who's Next is animals. I was gonna do a furry friend tag, but then I remembered my dog hates me and doesn't like to be near me. So we're gonna ignore the fact that my dog hates me and we're gonna do something else instead. I found a list of some of the world's weirdest animals and I thought it'd be cool to show you guys some. So here are animals that you didn't know exist. All right, so this little guy's name is the Pink Fairy Armadillo. And honestly, just by its name, I want it. Like it has fairy in the name. When I first saw this, I thought it was like a raccoon, but like, a rat? So I thought it was like a rat coon. Now it kind of just looks like a rat with like a shell and like platypus feet. But I have it pulled up here and apparently it says that they burrow in dry soil and they don't like rainfall. So if there is any rain, then they will leave the burrow. They like to burrow near ant hills and because they like to be close to their food source. Uh, it normally lives by itself and it measures only five to six inches in length. That's like this big. It's so cute, it's so small. It's also the only armadillo in which the dorsal shell is almost separate from the body. So it looks like it's like this big and they just kind of hang out in their hole all day. And then at night is when they go out and find food and they're just real cute and small and I want one. All right, this is called an eye eye and it's creepy as heck. It is known as the, I can't say this word. I'm gonna put the word right here. It's a rodent-like animal that can be found in Madagascar. Its features are very similar of a rodent. The eye, eye can be called as a lemur and belongs to that word I can't say, family. It is the only extinct member of the genius, the word I can't say. It typically lives off fruits, fungi, seeds, nectar, and other similar food. And they mainly eat beetles, which they pick up from trees. Apparently it's really rare and it's going extinct. Normally they're found in the coastal islands of Madagascar, especially on the east side. And it's kind of like a rodent. They walk and behave more like a rodent or squirrel and they move around fast. So there's kind of like little rodents that look like weird. <laughs> okay, this is such a beautiful animal. Okay, look at this. It's so pretty. I've never seen like a wolf that looks that beautiful. You know what I mean, man? All right, this animal can be found in South Africa, resembles a fox, but it is not a fox, nor it is a wolf. It's normally out in the open in grasslands, scattered bushes and trees in South, Central, West, and Northeastern Brazil, Bolivia, um, Peru, and South Africa. So it's in like all those places. It's an omnivore, so it normally eats small, medium-sized animals including ro rodents, rabbits, birds, and even fish sometimes. But apparently it's not good at, like humans. It flees from them, it says. So it, it's scared of them. But apparently the Smithsonian National Zoo Park has been working to protect it and keep it because apparently it's endangered. So it's been working hard to keep it protected and in its habitat and educating people about them so that they don't go extinct because it's such a pretty animal. Look at this puppy one. It looks like a cute little dog. I want one. This next one is called a Dumbo Octopus. It's so cute. It lives in the ocean because it's an octopus. They flap their ear-like fins to propel them to make them swim. That is too cute. Normally they live at the bottom of the oceans and in very cold temperature because they don't like the warmth. So they're really rare to find because they're real far down there in the ocean. They're really cute. Just like a little octopus. Kind of looks like the one in Finding Nemo. Okay, this next one is called a Patagonian Mara. It's hard to say. But it looks like a weird like kangaroo type rodent thing. I don't know. It's cute though. It's a herbivorous, somewhat rabbit-like animal that is found in open and semi-habitats in Argentina. It has long ears and long limbs and their feet are compressed so it makes them like hoof-like. Yeah, so basically they're just kind of like oversized rabbits and they're really cute and they just like walk around, hang out, and eat plants. I want one as a pet too. I want all of these as a pet. They're all so cool. Okay, so this guy right here is called a gurnuk. I think. I don't know what you say his name. It's also known as the giraffe gazelle. So yeah, it looks like a gazelle that has a really long neck, sort of like a giraffe. It's mainly found in Africa. It's basically like an antelope, like a gazelle. It's just like that type of animal. They eat mainly flowers, leaves, herbs, and fruits. And it can reach higher branches and twigs better than other gazelles and antelopes by standing on its hind legs and stretching out its neck. It helps it reach nearly two meters above the ground, which is over six foot. It doesn't really ever drink water, which is interesting. It just mainly eats leaves and stuff. But it's so cool looking. It's just like, it looks so majestic. Like, it's just like, I, I ain't got no worries. I ain't gotta worry about water. I'm just gonna walk around all day, eat my plants, leave me alone, like leave me be. Like, it's such a cool animal, I want one. I mean, I want all of these, like I keep saying, but they're all too cool. Okay, so that's all the animals that I'm gonna show you. There's a lot more on this website that I found, but there's like 40 of them and I don't have time to go through all of them. I just went through and found the coolest or weirdest or cutest. So if you want to, I'll have the link to the website that I found. I'll 
all these animals on down below and you could go check out the rest of them there's some other cool ones like there's a naked mole rat and like a blobfish and all that kind of stuff so there's some cool ones on there if you want to go check that out but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and was somewhat educational i thought it'd be cool to do something like this and teach you guys about these animals and i want every single one of them they're all so cute make sure you hit a like share comment and subscribe and come back tomorrow to find out who's next bye